Okay, so this is a quick video in format on building animations and still just sort of using this little test file that I have here, um, looking at, um, oh, just some different tutorials that I've been doing along the way. So uh, essentially what we're going to do to build an animation is open up the camera file. Um, from there, what we need to do is add different views, essentially, or different scenes is what they're going to be called in format and establish those as keyframes, and then we're going to allow Formit to put those together as an overall animation. So starting with a specific point, um, I'm just going to refresh here for view all. So it's going to say update scenes, and it's worth noting that I can change sun and shadows over time. There's There are several things that I can add into this. So in other words, any change that I make um, along this path throughout these scenes are going to be updated. So it's going to update the camera location, the visibility of layers, the position of sun, changes to the visual styles and the environment. And it's going to, if I have that set, if I have that turned on, it's going to include each of those in the animation. Also here is the amount of time that the camera is going to stop at each location and how long the transition from point to point is going to be. So we'll adjust those here as we move along. So right now with this as a starting point, I'm going to update the scene and now I'm going to move the camera into a slightly different location. I'm going to add a new view. Let's call this uh, and it's really helpful to name these along the way. So rather than just naming that scene, I'm going to name this wall view. And then update. So now if you notice, if I click on view all, it's going to take me to that. If I click on wall view, it takes me here, right? So I have those as two different locations. So I'm ready to add a third, so I'm going to hit the plus again. Let's put this to um, end of wall. And let's just kind of move this around to a location about like this. And then update that. So I now have three. If I hit the play button now, it's going to start at the overall view and pause for two seconds. It's going to move to the wall view, pause for two seconds, and then it's going to move to end of wall and pause for two seconds, and then it's going to loop back. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop button. So if I want to lose that pause at each piece, I would change my transition, or my pause time rather, to zero. It's going a little bit fast. Architectural animations work a little bit better at a nice smooth pace. And for that matter, if it helps, you can set the camera speed to move at a constant miles per hour. So three miles per hour is sort of a nice walking speed. So that might be helpful for you. Um, let's move to the end of the wall here. And let's turn off our pause again for this to zero. We'll set that again to four seconds. And let's establish one more, that is door. And refresh, so now I have that, and that, and that. Now I would caution you to try and walk through something as precise as a door. Um, if you notice, if I hit play, what you're going to see now is it is going to sort of dip down a little bit right through here as it's sort of smoothing out the frames. You have pretty good control over this, um, but not super precise control. So you certainly don't want to have the camera sort of go rushing through a wall. So oftentimes when I'm thinking about architectural animation, I prefer to do things um, like an omnipotent camera. I would rather see the camera move up above and look down into rather than trying to emulate exactly what it's like to walk through. Um, you're seeing things anyway on a flat screen. It really isn't like walking through at all. Um, so I'm going to call this interior view above. And let's add in one more 
interior interior view above two and refresh. So each one of those, um, I'm going to set the pause time to zero, transition four. Pause at zero, transition at four. Come on, work with me there. There we go. And I think that that will create a nice fluid animation that goes in front of this form and then sort of loops up and around above. Just checking the settings for each one. And so each one of those steps is four seconds. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So this should be just under 30 seconds, a 24 second long animation. Um, at this point, I'm going to hit play and we'll let it cycle through everything. Now to export this animation, what I'm doing is uh, Formit doesn't have an animation export tool. So I'm simply using the same software that I'm using here to do the screencast to export the animation. It's basically just a simple screencasting software. Um, and once I have that, I hit play. I let it run through the animation, and I have the animation file that I can upload to YouTube.